Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Max and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to step up your automotive photography game with one simple trick. So how do we drastically improve our automotive shots? Well, first we have to have a basic understanding of what it is that makes our shots not look too great. And now that can be a lot of things from uh, composition to exposure, over editing, things like that. But one of the most common things that I see in automotive shots is not managing or manipulating the reflections in the paint properly. And this can be a massive, massive eyesore depending on the scenery. If you're in a heavily wooded area or a parking lot or maybe even a car show where there's a bunch of other cars around, it can create a lot of reflections on the paint of the vehicle. And basically when we take the photo, we just wanna highlight the body lines. We don't wanna capture everything else that's around the vehicle. That's why when you see professional photos taken in a studio, there's no reflections. They highlight the body lines and that's it. So we can't always accomplish the same thing, especially when we're shooting outdoors. But with one simple piece of hardware, we can actually achieve that. And so this will cost you between $15 and you could even spend hundreds of dollars on it, though I don't really recommend that. So what I'm talking about is a circular polarizing filter, otherwise known as a CPL. Now, what a polarizing filter does is it can cut out and manipulate the reflections in anything. So it could be the paint on the vehicle, it could be water or a window, uh, whatever it might be. It works similarly to polarized sunglasses. And basically how it works on a camera is it's a filter that you thread onto the end of your lens. And then that filter can actually rotate separately from the threads. So you can rotate the filter around and change which part of the image is being polarized. So doing this, we can manipulate the reflections on different parts of the vehicle to achieve a look that we want. So the way that I typically do this is by bringing a tripod with and taking one shot where the roof, the windshield, the hood, and part of the front bumper are clear of reflections and then rotating the filter slightly so then the side of the vehicle uh, is free of reflections as well. And then I bring these two images together in Photoshop and I sort of paint on and mask in the parts that I want from each image. I actually showed this a little bit in my previous video where I did a time-lapse edit of a photo I took of my Evo that I just took quickly outside my house. So I hope you learned a little bit about what a circular polarizing filter can do for you in your automotive photography and just your photography in general, especially if you do landscape or anything like that. Uh, it can really help with skies and water and glass and um, especially if you're doing architecture, you know, skyscrapers, all of that type of stuff. So if you learned something or like the video, let me know by liking it and maybe consider subscribing. But otherwise, I will see you in the next video, which, by the way, I'm going to give you a little teaser. Um, is going to have to do with the upgrades that I've made to my recording setup. I've added a new microphone and lighting, so I wanted to go over that with you guys and just kind of show what it looks like to make one of these videos. So I'll see you in the next one.